Yo guys, what is up? It is Nick, and uh, it's Throwback Thursday, but uh, <laughs> uh, my data corrupted, so it's going to be Throwback Thursday on Friday. And so this is uh, Madden uh, 12 Ultimate Team, in my opinion, uh, is the best one. They had great promos, they had great cards, they had great collections. It wasn't hard to get coins, buying packs with coins was fun. It wasn't annoying, and it wasn't like I'm gonna lose all my coins if I, uh, if I, um, I can't even think. I'm gonna lose all my coins if I, uh, if if I if I buy packs. There we go. That's what I was trying to say. So I'm gonna in this video buy packs. Um, my lineup is not what it should be. I sold a lot of my, uh, a lot of my cards or gave them to people. Uh, when Madden 13 came out, some of the people that couldn't get Madden 13 till Christmas or something like that. So my team is kind of battered and uh, torn apart, but um, this is what it looks like. I had a bunch of ghosts and legendaries and stuff like that that I no longer have. But yeah, that's just a extremely quick look at my team. See here, collections. This was the greatest part about this game. Uh, look at the coin rewards once this connects. Not those. But look at these, all the position collections giving you 100,000. I try, I was trying to do the quarterback one. Uh, like I came back and it was stupid. I came back and then I was like, hey, maybe I can do the quarterback collection. But there's fantasies that obviously I'm not going to be able to get now. Especially this Drew Brees fantasy. There's a lot of different things. Uh, where is it? There's a... There's a, uh, whatchamacallit, where is he? There's a John Elway somewhere. I probably passed him. But there's a John Elway somewhere that, like, doesn't exist and, like, didn't exist even when the game was out fully. So I just kind of quit my, any attempt to... There he is. There's that 99 John Elway. Right here. But, yeah, the collections were great. Also, I was missing one cover vote card, wherever that collection is. I uh, just I saw it in like the background, but I guess whatever. Um, and then you had the core collections; those were are pretty cool. You had the the um, the school collections; those were pretty cool. Uh, let's see here. Not really new, but you had the halfback collection and just different stuff like this. the The collector's edition was awesome. It gave you these Panini cards. Uh, which were amazing. If you look at them, they're just cool Hall of Fame edition cards of Donovan McNabb and Drew Brees, Vic, Vince Young. They gave a lot of halfbacks and in, in, uh, quarterbacks, but still, you gotta you gotta admit that they were pretty cool. Let's see here, you had the BCA special, then you had the BCA collection. I'll take a look at all these because they're pretty darn cool. Uh, yeah, the playoffs, which I did all of them except that one. These were pretty expensive to do, like, coin-wise. And, of course, I spent some money, so they were expensive that way. Um, this Eli Manning was pretty rare. I know that. I think everything else in here was extremely cheap. It was just the Eli Manning in this one, and it was the Vince Wilfork in the other one that made them expensive. Uh, this was just a fun. Oh, there was the the cover votes at the very beginning. So there's the Pro Bowl, AP Award winners, different. Those are all the position collections. Um, let's see here, first drop rookies. Yeah, there's the cover vote. I'm missing the Calvin Johnson. Uh, if you, that's the '99ers collection. You got a. You actually got players, like, cool players for doing collections, like this Marshall Falk you got. You got a, if the picture, I don't know what the pictures aren't going to load, I don't think. But if I can, hopefully they'll pop here. Let's see here. Is he going to, okay. Okay, yeah, you got a Barry Sanders for doing the sure-footed stadiums. And back to nature, you got a Walter Payton. It was just cool. Um, And then here's the... The running back Panini collection, you got Sean Alexander, Falk, Sanders, and Eddie George. I think there were some wide receivers you got, uh, but I don't remember. I think it was like 12 cards or something crazy like that that you got for that Panini. You had the uh, 
BCA and the BCA collections, the different ones. I don't know what the difference is. Is this the hard one to complete? Yes, these were the special editions. I don't know if these were limited editions. I think they were just extremely hard to get. I think getting all of them were extremely hard. I didn't play the game during the uh, some of these promos. I started in like the in like January of it. Um, and then my favorite collection in this whole game was the Thanksgiving collection. Not this one. No, yeah, it was that one. Dang it. <laughs> uh, I'm stupid. Let's see here. Let me go back. Thanksgiving collection, all the limited edition. Uh, only 25 people could technically complete this collection, which is, you know, it kind of sucks, but it's kind of awesome. Uh, I had all these numbered cards in them. Uh, if you look it up, there are some people that complete the collection, and it's pretty darn cool. You get them all back. Uh, obviously collected, you couldn't trade or sell them. You obviously didn't want to sell any of in this game. Cards were worth more than you could actually post them because there was a limit. I forget who the sp what you got for doing that. Does it tell me? Is it gonna tell me? Oh wait. Oh, you just got ten million coins for doing it. You got all the cards back and ten million coins. So that 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 was an awesome collection. Um, there was no reserves or anything like that, but it wasn't a big deal. Uh, some of the I can show you some of the cool promos here. Uh, my favorite was uh. I think I'll get I'll get it here, but they had ghost cards and then they had numbered ghost cards, which didn't really do anything for you. They were just cool to have. Uh, I I don't think they they didn't do really any. They weren't any better than their regular ghost. It was just cool to have a numbered ghost card. Uh, there's that Barry Sanders um, that goes in the Thanksgiving collection. Draft cards were cool. Uh, Pro Bowls ghost cards were like this. They were pretty darn awesome. I love the ghost cards in this game. They made a bunch of them, way more than they made this year. Uh, you had cool legends. Gale Sayers was pretty cool. Ray Nitschke. Uh, let's see here. What else do we got? We had the AP Award winners. There's Prime Time, the one that gives plus seven boost. Uh, these were my favorite cards. Uh, the one-day limited edition cards. They were only released them in the packs for 24 hours. And they were just really fun and really cool to pull. Um, if you go back, I pulled a bunch of them. And uh, it was pretty darn sweet. Let's see here. Right here, you've got uh, probably one of the coolest promos uh, that has ever come to Madden, in my opinion. And that is Club 100's. Uh, Club 100 James Harrison, I think he was 100 hit power, and he gave a boost to hit power. Club 100 Tom Brady gave it, was a short, uh, was a sh throw short. Um, he gave plus three to route running. Club 100 Adrian Peterson gave plus three to run back footwork, and his was 100 elusiveness. Deshaun Jackson, Club 100 for speed, uh, probably the best card. Uh, then you had Club 100, Larry Fitzgerald, who gave plus 5 to Spectacular Catch. Um, yeah, just cool things like that. You had Ghost cards, uh, better playoff cards than we got this year. Way better playoff cards, way cooler. Uh, Super Bowl cards, there was Super Bowl collection. Uh, there were just, in my opinion... If they would just redo a game like this and put in an auction block where you could post cards for whatever instead of being forced. I don't know. Being forced to trade was kind of fun, though. I will say that because you had to have cards to get car kind of, but you could pull packs. I'm going to pull packs, too. Uh, I'm going to show you guys some pack pulls. Uh, I think I went over all the kind of cool collections. As you can see, 9,000 coins for a pack. It's kind of a lot, uh, but you'll see here why it's not that much. And so here we go. Look at that. 97 overall Nick Mangold. Nice. 93 Richard Seymour. Uh, so if you pulled a 97 in Madden 25 in a pack, even Madden 13 almost, uh, you would be going crazy. 
uh, for 9,000 coins. But in this game, not that big of a deal. But look at that, 5,000 coin discard. Think about that. You get well over 50% of your coins back, and you can just keep pulling. It's like an unlimited. It's it's just super fun. It makes the game 10 times more fun. Uh, I just remember sitting and being able to pull pack after pack after pack after pack uh, just for fun. It was amazing when ghost cards, I know uh, when like uh, ghost cards and stuff like that uh, were out, you could just sit here and literally just pull packs like insane, like crazy. And it, it was just fun. Anybody could have a semi-decent team. Uh, it didn't cost you a million coins to have a have a team you, you could have fun with and actually compete against your friends. Because uh, in Madden 25, if one of your friends has an insanely dominant team and your team is kind of not insanely good, then you just get extremely screwed over. In this game, at least you could build like a 97 overall team for relatively cheap. And you could, you know, go head to head with your friend and it wouldn't be a complete, or you could go online. Uh, the tournament system, they had a tournament thing in here, which, oh, look at that, pulled Ghost Terrell, pulled, pulled Ghost T.O., pretty cool. Uh, they, they did release some of the ghost cards and stuff like that into packs, and so, for like forever, but pulling T.O., pretty cool. Send, no, I don't want to discard him. Oh, you're just back out. Um... Well, I, lo I totally lost my thought. Uh, but they had tournaments. Let me show you that real quick. If you go to play game, they had live tournaments here, which were pretty awesome. There are none now, obviously, but they had live tournaments. Uh, they weren't really done well, but I think if they brought back live tournaments, uh, now that the community is so big for Madden Ultimate Team, they could it, it could be really successful. Uh, maybe put, like, a, I don't know, maybe I'm just going to use... Vic, because he's right there, and he's my favorite player. Maybe they put a 99 Vic at the end of a at the end of a tournament and do like a 64 team tournament, like uh, the NCAA tournament, like March Madness, and uh, see you could seed people by overall. Uh, like if my team's a 99 overall, uh, I could get a number one seed. Obviously, there'd be multiple 99 overall teams, but maybe just randomly, like if I have a 99, maybe there's 16 people with a 99. So I'd get one through four, somewhere, one of those seeds. Uh, just something like that. It'd be, it'd bring more excitement. It, uh, it'd be different than just playing head-to-head -head season, for which, while that's good and it gives you something to play for, it's, oh, look, cover vote AJ Green. Uh, but it, it's kind of boring if you, uh, just playing head-to-head -head seasons over and over. At least with playing tournaments, you could get, uh, you could get different prizes. You could uh, have different goals. You won maybe in a tournament. You uh, maybe you didn't have time to play. Uh, maybe you only had time to play like three games, and you wanted to, you know, get something for playing three games. Maybe they'd have a tournament where you only had to win three games, and maybe at the end you got a. 94 overall in Dominic and Sue or something like that. Something cool. Oh, 98 overall Ed Reed. Pretty nice. And a 96 overall Philip Rivers. I guess I'll just keep the Ed Reed until my actives get full and then I'll discard something. I'll just keep cards that I like. Uh, but I just really think they'd be cool if they bring back... They need to add more features than head-to-head -head seasons and solo challenges. Solo challenges are god-awful to grind because they're so boring after a certain amount that you do, they are so incredibly boring, it makes you want to kill yourself, and they don't even give that great of a coin reward, so it's almost not even worth it. And then, head-to-head -head seasons, while it's fun, it's just essentially playing solo challenges, except against real people, because the coin reward is even worse than solo challenges, and it takes longer. Uh, but I guess it's it, it's the thing of, playing against an actual person and beating them, but it's really awful <laughs> the, how they set it up. Even draft or something so that maybe one day I could play a tournament and then the next day I could play uh I could play um I could play solo challenges. And then the next day I could go to go and work on my head to head seasons and then the next day maybe maybe I play some draft duels and maybe the next day I can pull packs like I'm doing now and then 
Uh, maybe the next day I can... I don't know. They could add so many things to just make their game a little bit better. Just something to take. Because right now, it's either play solo challenges, play head-to-head -head seasons, play coin games, play your friend, sit and look at the auction, uh, just look at the cards you want, um, and think, I'm never going to get this crap. And Or you can... Uh, Look, you can snipe, which that is insanely boring. Uh, there's just nothing to do. They need to add more stuff. Draft duels was a good idea, and then they screwed it up, and you couldn't play it. So that was a thing. And then they took out tournaments from this game. Or just do more promos, for the love of God. Giving us the promos they have. The Combine Warriors this year are ten times worse than the Combine Warriors last year. Um, the Ghost cards this year, oh my, they were terrible. The Ghost promo was awful. That The whole Christmas promo was just terrible. That thing is getting worse every single year. It's just getting worse and worse and worse. I can't wait to see what it is next year and see how bad it is. And then let's see here, what else sucked? Um, Thanksgiving promo wasn't nearly as good as this and it, it it was about i would say i would rate it about the same as um madden uh, 13s but that's about it playoff content was garbage was just straight awful i i have no words to describe it the playoff content in this was really good i really enjoyed the playoff content in this even last year had pretty good playoff content was really good. This year, the playoff con I don't really count the team MVP as play as playoff content. They just released it before the playoffs, and then they got lazy and didn't give us a whole lot throughout the playoffs. Uh, also, let's see here. Draft-wise, um, I'm assuming the draft is going to suck. They're not going to give us anything like they did last year with the coin-wise. coin, coin -wise. Um, And then this was fun because... This wasn't as exciting. They didn't really have anything draft as big as last year. Um, what else? I'm trying to think of anything. What else promos? They didn't have anything really like uh, uh, Club 100s. Golden tickets are cool, but they need to be a little more loose with the guidelines. Like, really, it's a golden ticket. You get to make... There's only 10 of the, them or whatever. Let the person just make whatever they want. Mm -hmm. If I want to have a Tyrod Taylor 99 overall, like, really you're going to put strict guidelines on me? So if I want to make a Tyrod Taylor card, since his base card is like a 71, whoopee, I can have an 87 Tyrod Taylor. It, it, it's just stupid. It's just annoying. I'm going to pull one regular gold peg and see what I get. Uh, but... It, they're just money. They're just really being money hungry, being really big money whores, and I don't know. It's just crazy. But that pack was 6000 to buy and 4300 coins I got back for that. But uh, the gold premium, uh, that's where like the ghost cards and all that is. This is just straight going to get golds. This is uh, like playoff cover votes, ghosts, all that different things were in this. Then they had like leg the legend ghosts and stuff like that were only available in the legendary packs. But the legendary packs, you know, you didn't have to buy them. And really, they weren't that bad. They were 448 Microsoft points, which is kind of expensive, but it wasn't that big of a deal. And off-season packs were pretty cheap at 192. And you didn't even have to buy them. Uh, the the uh, trade block was something you could use a lot, utilize, and it was it was pretty good. So you didn't necessarily have to. And if you had a friend, you guys could help each other out. Um, and in the newer games, you really there's no point in trying to help each other out because uh, you just end up screwing yourself, or the tax ends up screwing you, because say you do a collection and you guys want to split the profit, and say it's 100000 well, one of you's getting 40000 not, or one of you's getting 45000 not 100000 so congratulations on that. But, yeah, I just wish they would uh, go back and do a little bit something more like this, but I know they won't because they're so money-hungry that... They're just going to find a way next year to make it even harder to get coins and even harder to, uh, even more expensive to buy packs and even less coins to get 
by solo challenges. So you're going to have these people with like millions of coins because it happens every year. Uh, more coins than they know what to do with. So they'll just price fix stuff and people like me and you won't be able to do anything. We won't have any coins and we won't be able to do anything really. So, yeah, so that's the thing. And I think they're going to end up keep doing it until... All the Mutt veterans, all of us that have been playing since 12, I even played a little in 11, any, all of us, until we all just quit their game mode, because some of, some veterans already have, some veterans have just given up on Ultimate Team altogether, because it's way to, if, when I go back to college and I go full time, dude, I don't have time to get millions of coins, I don't, I don't, I can't, like, you got to invest so much time to get a good team, so much time, if you're not going to risk all your coins in coin games, and say I have 100 coins and I risk all 100, I'm screwed, because it's just that thing, you, one, you got to have the balls to do it, and two, you got to be good enough, like, I'm not that good at Madden, I don't trust myself to win every single time, um, so... I don't know. For those of you that work a full-time job and have kids or something like that, those people that play Mutt, I feel bad for them because there's no way they're ever going to have a great team to compete unless they spend 500 bucks. It's ridiculous. It, it literally takes lucky snipes, grinding solo challenges, having people that are willing to help you a little bit here and there. It's just crazy. Let me know what you guys think. I think I'm about done. I'm going to wrap this up. Uh, I hope you all enjoyed the video. Drop a like if you did. Subscribe if you haven't. And I miss Mutt 12. Peace out, guys.